Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel Caption Media. Again, I'm here to review the currently released movie, which is called Bo is Afraid. I'll skip all the spoilers and I'll give you the non-spoiler review. So here we go. First of all, I'll share the recent box office statistics. Bo is Afraid ignited the 2023 art house box office with a near record opening. In its opening weekend, it took $320,000, 20.5% of the total gross, and it was the domestic box office's biggest weekend. It took $1.6 million overall. Bo is Afraid needs to make $90 million at the box office to be a hit. Bo is Afraid is a 2023 American surrealist black tragic comedy horror film written, directed and co-produced by Ari Aster. The film is a dark comedy horror that often makes you think it's weird and serious, but straight away you can still see some funny parts. The film gives less jump scares, terrifying scenes and, an, and less of an awful vibe than the director's previous works. You'll see some strange sequences in the film and many scenes will feel bizarre and misinterpreted, but everything eventually contributes to the humour of the film. The film may have been more comprehensible. Wouldn't getting tattoos alone have been easier? The only serious issue I had with this film was how over the top the prologue and epilogue seemed. They were excellent, although the amount of screen time may have been cut back. Other than that, I really loved the film. After almost four years, this movie certainly didn't live up to the expectations of Astor's followers, but I think it's a fantastic look at the pain of drug abuse and the Oedipal complex. I admire a peculiar technique and the wide range of the imagination, but the length of the film makes it unwatchable. Bowie's Afraid won't frighten you if you enjoy films with a twist and unanswered questions at the beginning, middle and end. It is an exciting and outlandish film. It puts the terror on hold and instead Asta uses a conceptualisation of a mummer's boy and the nice guy syndrome to criticise the 21st century modern world. The movie is successful in putting you in a state of highly severe nightmare or dream where there are almost no encounters or exchanges that are infused with compassion or even moments of grace. Everything is, is an assault or the fleeting prelude to one. Bo is a bizarre, somewhat perplexing, cinematic adventure that most definitely isn't for everyone, but if you do decide to go along for the voyage, it's a wild one you won't soon forget. There is a moral to be understood, as well as relatable characters. I do, however, strongly recommend viewing this movie and cultivating your own judgement about it, because not everyone will appreciate it, and it's a different experience from other films. Bo is Afraid, which clocks in at just under three hours, has a propensity for self-indulgence, making it difficult to follow. However, Asta continues to be a director of a distinctive style and a gift for exposing our deepest fears. Even though its preoccupation with castration and Oedipus may be researched for years, its authenticity and familiarity do not make for an enjoyable viewing experience. If you have seen this movie, be sure to leave comments below your evaluation must be appropriate. I'm going to scoot. See you in a bit. Have a good one.